G'day, it's Rob here again. With that last video, I showed you how to make up a quick and dirty uh, collar block. Just basically uh, straightforward. And I'll just reiterate on it again. So, you know, you get your piece of scrap steel. In this case, it's, it's uh, square, or it could be round. You drill a hole through, in both cases, the diameter of the pipe you want to hold, you know. So you measure your pipe and drill the hole and that should just slide through. And then the idea, the way it works is, it's an old trick, it's been there for years, the way it works is you just cut the collar block in half. Well, the block of metal in half, you cut down through the the, the hole and that gives you two halves which is basically the equivalent of two halves like that you know if you imagine it and then you just put that in the vise with your bit in there and gently tighten it up and it will uh, pull up and I was thinking about it afterwards I mean I haven't made one of these for years but I have done them in the past before I had a lathe and I thought you know you can actually go one step further, I mean, if you were to use round, say you had collets but you didn't have that size, you could cut a piece of uh, round stock to make the collet so it would fit in a collet. You with me? And or you could make it using round stuff and it would fit in a three-jaw chuck. I mean, it's a square out of square stuff would fit in a four jaw chuck so you can actually centre the, the the job in the four jaw chuck so it's got all sorts of possibilities this business the way you do it it's just up to you and there is another another thing crossed my mind as well and I'm going to try it out just to see if it, what happens and I mean this is not spring steel here's a bit of round stuff that will fit in that collar it's not spring steel, it's just mild steel. But I thought, how would it be if we only do the cut through one half? So basically, your hole would only get cut through, so they're looking down from the top, you know. Well, it's round in that case. So basically, you slit it rather than separate it. See, normally you'd cut right through. But what happens if you just slit it and then use it however you want to use it with your piece of pipe in there. When you pull it up, I mean, when you pull it up, you don't have to pull it up rock hard. So maybe just slitting it on one side would, would do a nice job of gripping but have enough spring left in it that it would release the, the bit of pipe. So I'm going to try it. I'm going to try it on this bit of copper pipe and just see how it works. But either way, you can understand more what I'm talking about as far as how this whole system works. And yeah, this is just a bit of scrap out of the scrap bin. I mean, it doesn't have to be a mile long. It's just got to be long enough to, to do the job. So I'll, I'll drill a hole through that. I'll do it in the lathe. Uh, but once again, you don't have to have a lathe, you know. You could just do it on the bench if you want to. But... Um, all right, little experiment. Let's just see what happens. The first thing we'll do, of course, is center drill it, and uh, that will get us dead center for the drill. I'm just doing this in the normal three jaw. I mean, I could use collets, but I won't. Keep it simple. fairly hard steel so it could have a bit of spring in it maybe oh, that will try it for size 
Yep. That's good and snug. All right, we'll go with that. All right, so we'll hacksaw halfway through it. This is definitely hard stuff. Right, so we're through into the centre line. Put a new blade in and she went a lot better. So now I'll just clean the hole up inside again, make sure there's no burrs in there. Yeah, that's pretty good. Good enough. All right, so we'll put this in the collet block. Once again, you know, this could go in the three-jaw chuck, four-jaw chuck. It could go in the vise. You can just squeeze it up in the vise. We'll stick it in here just to show you that you can put a collet in a collet, basically. A homemade one, anyway. No, that's not going to grip like that, but in the vise it probably will. We'll try it in the vise. And maybe this is a vice only trick. No, it doesn't, doesn't work. So that's a great idea, that's not a great idea. So now we'll cut it all the way through like the original <coughs> uh, plan was, is, method. So just slitting it down one side, it doesn't work. So we'll cut it in half and you can see how well it, it grips when it's in two halves. Back to the hacksaw. So here's the original design, and I'll just, you can use it like that, but I'll, I'll put it on the linen sheet just to clean it up a bit. how you should have used it, this original idea, so that goes in like that, that goes in like that, and that's how it's gripped, and then we stick it in the vise, whoops, I've got it in the upside down, we want to go this way, that way, so I can grip it and see if it's tight. Is it going to be tight? Oh, I'll bet she is. Oh, look at that. That is super tight. So that's how those little uh, homemade collet blocks work. So there you go. She's tight as tight. So that's, that's what, you know, that's what you make. I mean, you can make it in five minutes, you know, literally. And you know, it can be square or it can be round. And as I said, if it's round, you can, you can actually put it in a three-jaw chuck. You know, you could have your 
two two uh, jaws there and one jaw here. And you can put it in a collet, so if you want to go to a small size that you, your collet set doesn't cater for, you can just make a round one up like this, just have an old bolt or a bit of anything. We'll try it in the collet, see if it grips all right. All right, I'll just put it in that way up so we can try it for uh, leverage. These collet blocks are really good, really handy. Oh, look at that. See, it's tight as tight, could be, and it only went just mildly with it. So there you go, you know, if you haven't got the right size collet, make one. If you've got a collet set like this, make one. It's a great idea. So anyway, there you go, folks. You can see I wasn't speaking with forked tongue in the last couple of videos. This is basically how you do it. So if you wanted to flare that, you would just have, um, you know, it cut off about here, do the same process as I showed you in, in the flaring video. And the beauty of these split collets like this is that it doesn't matter if there's a bit, if there's a, something on the other end which would normally stop it coming out of a regular collet, as this is in two halves, it just separates. And, uh, Off she goes. Simple as that. Okay, so there's a bit of uh, something to think about. You can make yourself up a set of collets, basically, um, and have them in your drawer for the various sizes that you, you're using, you know, just so you can use them in the vise or in the three-jaw chuck or in the lathe or whatever. Saves so buying a full set of collets, you know, proper collets, and it will work pretty damn well and, uh, and once again if you had square section in the four jaw you could actually get it dead dead, dead central you know aligned perfectly with the four jaw three jaw yeah probably get it pretty right uh, but there's no guarantee see in this case the, the slot isn't exactly center so the job's going to be slightly off center there so basically it would be better off with a four jaw. It depends what you're holding it for, whether you're holding it to, you know, to get it centre or whether you're just holding it to, to grip it so you can work on it. All right, that's it for now. I hope you got something out of it. And, uh, yeah, I'll see you next time. Cheers.